He's still grey maiden, his next thing this is a one mile maiden for three year olds. And we're at Ascot, and the top one is Alfie Flitch, John Seaford, Arthur Tudor, Kevin Minan, best of both worlds, Joshua Sutherland, Barrero, play for hymns, disintegration, Leon Van Rensburg, Dynamite, Paul O'Neill, Gabriel the Prince, Julian Hughes, Hidden Benefit, C. Beckwith, James E. Cornett, Nick Driver, Jex and Altimist, David Robertson, Nightmare Django, Marma Legio, Darren Thompson, Melange Prophet, Steve Ram, Mutafarwig, Shadwell, Regal Command, Marty Lidham, Rugged Jim, Derek Hinton, Sneaky Pete, Dan Hughes, Storming Pete, Alex Cherry, Tajik's Dan Paul Rhodes, Tamadot Hitchens, James Shea, Tatton and Quartz, Martin Cairns, and the collector, Mark Jones. So 22 this time in, in this race, named after my fellow commentator Stu Gray, who's having a bit of a rest for a few weeks, but we'll get him back. And they're all installed, and away they go. A little bit slow to go was Marma Legia, the rest of them off in the usual even break of Mutafarwig in the blue jacket is just about the leader pulling for its head being joined us inside by Sneaky Pete who's got the Godolphin blue colours and uh, that one is now probably just about the leader so best of both worlds are right up the centre of the track is also prominent and two of them are going f going wide right over on the far side and they're completely out of shot but it's Mutafarwig who's just about in the lead in the blue from best of both worlds in the black and red hoops Sneaky Pete behind that one they're in third then right over on the far side of the road is James E. Cornett Tamadot Hitchens is close up as well Mutafarwig then leads by about a length to best of both worlds and Sneaky Pete James E. Cornett is also close up but they're well strung out these already Tatton and Quats is the one right out the back but it's Mutafarwig who's in the lead from best of both worlds in second then sneaky pete then comes jesmy and artemis marmalijos making up some good ground another one that's coming through really nice it looks like barrero playful there's still plenty of chances but they're going to get to mutafarwig mutafarwig's in the lead the yellow jacketed nightmare is now coming through as well so is jesmy and artemis sneaky pete barrero playful still there as well but it's mutafarwig who's still in the lead right over on the far side tajik stan's got that rail over that side django's nightmare is up the center as well two furlongs to go mutafarwig in the lead from nightmare tajik stan tamadot higgins Malos. Profit trying to get into it as well. So too's the collector. Right over on the far side. Tajik's Dan might be just in the lead. Mutafarwig though still trying to hang on grimly at this side. They're past the four long bar. Mutafarwig now being challenged by Tajik Stan right over on the far side. Tajik Stan has burst in the lead. Here comes Melange Profit with a late looking run. Racing into the final quarter for a long. Tajik Stan's going to take it from Melange Profit. Disintegration from nowhere. Jackson and Artemis. Marmalijo has run a good race as well. Gabriel the Prince was the last one to finish. And strung right across the track. Tajikstan had the benefit of the far rail and that's probably what helped him win it. He didn't have any company there so it's a pretty good performance and one or two finishing pretty well there as well and oh, it's going to be an interesting start for the new handicapper didn't get that lot sorted out. Tajikstan then for Paul Rhodes the winner, Melange Profit for Steve Rand second, Disintegration for Leon van Rensburg third, Jexme and Altimus for David Robertson fourth and Nightmare for Django was fifth.